know, when people hear the phrases capital campaign or capital expansion, pretty much the first thing they think is, what is this all going to cost us? The total campaign is $85 million. We've raised $61 million of that already. So we have a bit of a ways to go, but we're confident we can get there, and especially with your help. Over the course of the last two or three decades, this museum has undergone seven different capital projects that have changed the face of the museum, and certainly this will change it a bit again. Several people have said, well, where are you going to put the new expansion? And it's really kind of an easy answer. The best way is probably for you to go on Google Earth and look at one Herman Circle Drive. You'll notice that on the northeast quadrant of where we are, there's a big empty space there, and that's going to be where the new expansion will go. We're not only going to go out a little bit, extending from where the Weiss Energy Hall and the Herstein Hall are, but also we're going to go up to about four stories and one lower level below ground that'll meet with our current um, Alkec Education Center. When you visit the Houston Museum of Natural Science and you buy a ticket or you become a member, just about every penny of your investment goes to support our museum's educational programs. Over the last five years, we've doubled our number of visitors to almost three million We've added hundreds of thousands of school kids visiting the museum on field trips, and we've increased our membership base to about 45,000 households from about 25,000. So we're not building this and hoping more people will come. We are overwhelmed and inundated right now. And one of the hallmarks of the new edition will be a huge space devoted to energy and earth science education, uh, the centerpiece of which will be a brand new hall of paleontology about 50,000 square feet and two stories tall in the interior because you need a lot of space for dinosaurs. Um, we're going to cover everything about paleontology and earth science from A to Z. The expansion will also allow us to add tens of thousands of square feet of temporary exhibition galleries. And this is critical uh, to the museum's well-being financially because the temporary exhibits drive just about everything else we do. You know, we're the Museum of Natural Science, so while we do have a tremendous amount of focus on the natural world and, and the, the world of nature, science is a big part of what we do too. And one of the new permanent exhibit halls in the new expansion will be the Hall of Emerging Technologies. It's permanent in the sense that it will be a space dedicated primarily to emerging technologies, but it's temporary in the sense that every time there is a new cool thing happening in the world of science that's really captured people's imagination, we can mount exhibitions devoted specifically to those topics. The new expansion will also feature some brand new permanent exhibition halls. One of them is the Hall of Texas Coastal Ecology, which in, in effect ties together the Hall of Texas Wildlife and the Hall of Malacology. The blend between those two, or the bridge between those two, will be the new Hall of Texas Coastal Ecology. Another thing this will do for us is allow us to increase the number of classrooms we have available for our ever popular and ever growing summer science camps. I think it's also very important to point out that the Houston Museum of Natural Science receives less than one-tenth of one percent of its operating budget from any government taxing authority. We pretty much earn all the funding that it takes to operate this museum on an annual basis through ticket sales, memberships, and donations. Every single penny that you give to us goes directly to support our educational programs and now to help build the new Duncan Wing at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Thank <music> you.